Do you guys want your Twitch community to level you up? Are you tired of only having a level 1 penis and you want your community to level it up higher for you? Well, you've come to the right place. You want penis enlargement pills? Actually, no, we're not doing that, by the way. Bruh. We're actually gonna be teaching them how to do a new channel reward on Twitch. You know what? Never mind. How's it going, guys? Hope you all have a fantastic day. My name is The Synchro. Skyrim is one of my favorite games of all times, and one of my favorite memes that has emerged from Skyrim is the glorious Destruction 100 meme. I've been trying to find a way to actually implement that meme on my stream and add my own unique twist to it. Um, it's one of the things that I try to... <laughs> well, I found a way. What if I told you that there is a way for you to do that on your Twitch stream and then have it so your viewers and community members can control it using channel rewards? Your viewers can make it say anything they want and you can either have a set number for it or you can make it so it's a random number that gets generated when they redeem it. I'm gonna teach you cute sons of guns how to do that today. Keep in mind, we're gonna be using a tool called Touch Portal for this. So if you guys haven't seen my installation guide on Touch Portal, the link of it is gonna be on the description. I would highly recommend watching that first before watching this video if you don't have touch portal installed already and guys if this video ends up helping you in any way make sure you like it and subscribe to the channel also share it around with your friends so they can learn something new too let's go over to step one step one is getting the necessary files for this to work there's a few files that we need in order to make it look as close to skyrim as possible i've gone ahead and uploaded the necessary files to my discord so head over there go over to design files and grab the video file that we're going to be using in this tutorial as well as the font that we need we also got a bunch of other stuff on design files too so hopefully you guys can find a good use out of some of the stuff that i'm giving out Got it downloaded? Awesome. Install the font and keep the video file in a safe spot because we're going to be using it. One additional thing that you have to do is you have to make an empty TXT file in the same folder. Let's just name it Skyrim level just to keep track of it. Got that done? Awesome. Let's go to step two. Step two is to create a channel reward on Twitch. This is probably the easiest step of them all and that's basically to just create a channel reward on your Twitch dashboard. Open up your Twitch and click on your profile photo on the top right and select creator dashboard. Once you're in creator dashboard, look for viewer rewards on the left and select channel points. Click manage rewards and challenges and scroll down until you see add new custom reward. Give it a name, description and price and add an image if you want. Super important step for this part, you have to make sure require viewer to enter text is checked and I would recommend putting a cooldown on it, but that's up to you. And now you have step two done. Step three is setting it up on OBS. So there are several ways to add this effect on OBS. However, for today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys a way that you can easily add it to every scene that you want. It's the method that I use. First, let's make a brand new scene and name it Skyrim Level. Next, let's make a new media source. Click the plus button, head over to media source, and let's name it Skyrim Level Video. Look for local files and hit browse. Then look for where you saved your file that you downloaded from design files. Select it, then click OK. Now, let's make a new text source. Click the plus, head over to text. Let's name it Skyrim Level Text. Set the font to Futura Condensed Fin, the font that you downloaded from my design files. Now check the box that says Read From File, click Browse, and select the text file that I told you guys to create. Where it says Text Transform, change from None to Uppercase. Scroll down and change both the Vertical Alignment and the Alignment to Center. And then click OK. Now right click on the Skyrim Level Text Source, Hot over to transform, click edit transform, and change the positional alignment to center. Awesome, now we have all of our sources set up. Now what we need to do is align the Skyrim level text with the video. First of all, select the Skyrim video source, turn it off and then back on, and then pause it. You'll want to pause it in a way that you can see the level progress and the compass. Next, head over to the text file and type something in the text file and save it. On your OBS, whatever you write in the text file will be displayed. Resize the source to your liking and in a way that you feel is accurate to what it is in Skyrim. Next thing that you guys have to do is right click your Skyrim level text, head over to show transition and select fade. And also change this from 300 milliseconds to 1000 milliseconds. And then do the same to hide transition. Now when you turn this on and off, you can see that it fades in and out. 
For the Skyrim level video, do the same thing but only do it for high transition. Set it to fade and change the milliseconds to a thousand. Once you're done, hide both the sources. Now go to your scene where you want the effects to be displayed on. Click the plus button under the sources, select the, the scene and choose the Skyrim level scene that we just worked on and click OK. Awesome. Now we're pretty much done with OBS. Let's get on to step four. Step four is setting it up in Touch Portal. This part can be very, very easy to make mistakes. So please, if you end up making a mistake, just rewatch the segment. So first thing that we need to do is we need to create a value in Touch Portal. Head over to Touch Portal and go over to the Values tab. Make a new value and for the sake of consistency, let's name the ID Skyrim Level altogether and then set the name to also Skyrim Level. We'll leave the default value empty and we'll hit save. Next, head over to pages and click on a blank square. Give it a name and head over to on event. On the search bar on the top left, let's start off by searching for channel. And as you can see here, you have on channel point redeemed, click on that. Now what you wanna do over here is you wanna type the name of the channel reward that you created. And please be careful because it is case sensitive. It's the same name of the reward that we created in step two. Next up on the same search bar, search up random and look for randomized value. Select the Skyrim level that we just created and the values that we want are between two and a hundred. You don't have to set those two numbers in specific. You can set to whatever number you want. The reason why I chose two and a hundred is that it's basically going to make it so the level will never go below two and it will never go above 100. Next, search for write to file. And this is where we're going to include the TXT file that we created. Click on the three dots and look for the TXT file. Where it says end write, paste this in the box. It's gonna be available for you guys in the description of this video so you can easily copy and paste it. Next, search wait for timer and add it. Change the wait from 100 to 2000 milliseconds. Then search for source visibility and add two of them. Change them to show, select the scene Skyrim level that we created and set one of them to Skyrim level video and the other one to Skyrim level text. Then add another wait for timer. And this one, we want to set it to 5,000 milliseconds. And then we simply add another two source visibilities. Only this time, we're actually hiding them. Once you're done, hit save and you're done. To test if it's working, head over to your OBS, look for your Skyrim level, type something on it and redeem it. And there you go. You can type basically anything here and it'll show up as a level. But that's it friends, that's how you make the Skyrim level alert on OBS with the user Touch Portal. I also hope this was able to give you guys an idea on some of the really cool stuff that you can do with Touch Portal. Let me know oh. down in the comments if I helped, I'd love to hear from you guys. But thank you so much for watching everybody, thank you so much for your time. I hope this video was able to help you or a friend of yours in any way, shape or form. If you guys have any questions and want to learn more, come check us out on Twitch. I stream Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays starting at 4pm Australia West Standard Time, GMT plus 8. And I'd love to see you there. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you all have an amazing day and an amazing stream. Catch y'all later.